Hi everybody, Kim Wilson again, and here's our second project uh, for the October card glass. And this is our fun fold, and we're going to do a bay window card, which is really, really cool. So I'm kind of showing the different orientations here so you can see that you can set the card up, and it's a great display card, but then it pulls apart and closes up to fold flat for mailing. So here's how it goes on the inside. A um, couple looks from some different angles, and then we'll get started. Okay, so I'm using um, for this this card the Berry Cute Bundle. So I've got my Berry Cute uh, stamp set and punch. Now the punch is um, non-orderable till early November, but if you um, really need to get it right away, I would go ahead and get the stamp set because you can fussy cut all three bears. The, the stamps or the punch punches out this one, but the other ones are, are fairly easy to, to fussy cut. So um, there you go. Really cute stamp set and the and there's two papers that match it so that's really fun so let's get my pieces together a quick look at um, the measurements there if you're um, taking notes otherwise the pdfs are posted in our private group and um, let's get started and um, the, the live class is tomorrow so if you're if you're around in the Erie area come to class tomorrow and join us. Okay, I'm folding them all the same direction on, on my score lines that I've already made except for this very last quarter inch score line. We're just going to do that the other direction because that's going to be the piece that gets tucked in. And then you can kind of work, you can kind of work with the different um, bits to get them um, lined up right. But this very first one is actually going to be glued down. So um, it is Kind of like, it's starting out kind of like a book fold where you have that that one edge that's going to be glued down and then the other ones are going to be up like that so that you get that little bay window look okay the card base is ready to go and then the other thing to do is just to glue on basically all your little pieces here so just get the the right ones in the right spot that's the biggest one so you just need one of those the one inch strips, you'll need two of those, and those will go there. Um, this one, the smallest one there, and then, then this last one's gonna go on the inside, but we're gonna remember to pop it up so that we can tuck in that little tiny quarter inch bit that we've got there to um, make the card stand up. So we're just gonna center those designer series papers and again I'm using the walk in the forest DSP which I love it's so cute for winter and it's got some fun snowflakes on some of the sides too so you can decide which um, which piece you want to use okay and then this very last piece, um, I decided to use, instead of dimensionals, I'm using the foam strips because um, I decided it was kind of hard to tuck it under when the, with the dimensionals. And the foam strips make it really nice. And since I'm only doing one layer, a lot of people do like extra layers. I just have this one layer of designer paper. And so I want to make it nice and sturdy. And I can do that better with the foam strips and I'm doing two layers of them just to make them nice and sturdy. The foam strips come in a big long package but I've already trimmed trimmed mine off so that they're the right length here and I'm putting two layers down and then that's going to go right on the edge there. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap because all the other papers have a little gap and see, you can see how it checks right under there. So our card base is all done now and it's time to decorate. So what I've done on the inside is stamped my little baby bear and my greeting. So my greeting is going to be warm wishes. And then we'll do the little baby bear who's so cute. 
And then um, for the outside, we're going to do the larger bear that um, we can punch out. Now, if you have a kit from me, and I do um, have some kits, I probably will have some extra after class tomorrow, so I can mail them out. All right, there's my big bear. I guess that, I don't know, is that the mama bear? I think that's the mama bear. I think the, I think the daddy bear is sitting down. All right, so then we can just punch him out. Now, if you did get a kit, um, what I'm sending you is the bear from the designer series paper because I can just punch that bear out and send it to you for the kit so that all you'll need is some stamps for the inside. Whatever you like for your sentiment. And then we're just going to pop up that bear right in that middle section there. I think I cut this one piece a little, I must have gotten the one that was a little bit short there, but still looks good. There we go. So we've got our bear, our warm wishes, and then we can just set that up and display it for Christmas. So, and you could add more to the front too, maybe some bling, or you could even put a little sentiment across the, the top as well. So hope that gives you a great idea for um, a fun fold and uh, try one and we'll see you in a couple minutes with the last class with the last card for October